So our first example is we've got some of the male world record 100 meter sprint times um, since it first started being recorded back in 1912. So there's uh, 22 of them all together and we're going to sketch an appropriate statistical plot for representing that data. So I've actually already put it into my calculator so I'll just get it up quickly. Okay, so here's my 84, and um, I'm going to hit the stat. I'm just going to show you where I've got it. So I'm going to hit that stat button again, just uh, next to the navigation keys there. Um, press enter on edit, and then you can see I've got all of those times in my list one. Um, so if I go down to the bottom, you can see, there we go, 22 all together. All right, so we're going to sketch uh, some of this data um, on a nice uh, statistical plot. So if we head into our Y equals button there, you can see at the top of that, um, in blue, it says stat plot. So we're going to be using the second function on that Y equals button. Um, so if we go second and then hit that Y equals to get the stat plot up, you can see here we've got uh, a few, quite a few different plots under this heading. Um, and at the moment, they're all off. Um, or the three, the three that we can do are off. Um, and at the bottom there it says four plots off and five plots on. So if you wanted to turn on all of the plots, we could use number five. And if you wanted to turn off all the plots, we could use that number four. So that's what those four and five are there. But we're just going to deal with the three individually for the moment. So if I press enter on that number one, it takes me in uh, to my kind of stat plot menu here. So firstly, I want to turn that plot on. So where my my cursor's blinking on on, I'm going to press enter. Um, and then I've got uh, six different types of graphs here. Um, so first one, scatter plot, we've got a line graph, we have histograms, we have two different types of box, box and whisker. Um, one's your kind of standard box and whisker, which, which has outliers if there are outliers in the data. And the fourth one's a modified box and whisker, and so that kind of incorporates those outliers. Um, and then the last one is a a normal quantile plot there. And one of the really handy things about this is um, if I'm looking first at my scatter plot, uh, like my cursor is uh, there, I can see it comes up with X list list one, Y list list two. So that's telling me that I've got two variables that I'd be dealing with here, an X and a Y. But if I go across to my histogram and press enter, Ah, now I can see I've only got an X list with list one. So this is going to be a type of plot which is going to be really good for that univariate um, or single variable data that we're looking at at the moment. Um, so in there, the X list is already list one. So that's perfect. That can stay the same. Um, the frequency is one. Um, that's fine. There's no frequency uh, list like we were talking about in the previous lesson. So that can just stay as one. And the color, we'll keep that as blue for the moment. All right. From there, if I go into my zoom button, uh, just two across from that y equals one, uh, number nine there is zoom stat, and this is a really handy one for your stat plot. So we can use this, and that's going to just identify the best uh, screen and the best viewing window for looking at that data. So if I go zoom stat number nine, there we can see our histogram. Now the other really handy thing when we're using our statistical plots is using the trace button. And the trace button tells us important data that we might need to know. So if I look at uh, pressing trace, it's going to highlight that first rectangle in our histogram. And I can see there the minimum value in that is 9.58. The maximum value in that rectangle is uh, anything less than 9.8424. And there's four things that are in that rectangle. Um, if I tab along, I can go on to the next one. Again, there's four in there. It goes from 9.842 up to being less than 10.068. Our next one, um, there's eight things in that one, and then four, um, and then one and one. So it gives you those boundaries and also how many things are in each section of your histogram. Um, let's have a look at a box and whisker plot now. So I'm going to go back into that same stat plot menu we were in before. So again, second my y equals, um, and back into plot one. Now, instead of having a histogram, I'm going to have a box and whisker. So we're just gonna use a standard box and whisker plot. Um, again, I'm gonna press enter. Uh, still X list list one, still frequency of one. Um, we don't need to change the mark. I'm happy with all of that. That just, that just tells you if you've got an outlier, what symbol we're gonna use for it. So um, unless you're looking at multiple different things and you don't wanna confuse the symbols, I'm happy just to keep it as a square. All right, we're going to then going to graph that. 
Um, now, because we had this set up for the histogram, um, the stat plot, the stat zoom isn't exactly what I want. I would like that to be more kind of centered in the middle of that screen. So again, I'm going to go into zoom, number nine, and there we go. That centers it up for us really nicely. Okay, there's our box and whisker. Oh, the last thing I was going to mention as well, um, again, back with that trace button as well. Um, if we go through, this gives us a different type of um, statistics when we look at. So this, this will tell us our five number summary. So it's going to start out in the median. We can see that our median is 10.185. We go over down to 9.93 and 9.58. And again, if we go up to our Q3 and our maximum there as well. All right, um, I'm going to show you now a back-to-back -back box and whisker plot. So we're going to plot two box and whiskers on the same screen. Um, and let me just get my PowerPoint up. Okay, so now we're going to look at comparing this with some of our female world record 100 meter sprint times. So there's 22 of those as well. Um, and I've also already entered those in a list. So I'll get that up and show you. And we're going to display that alongside the men's data. Okay, so now if I go back into my stat um, spreadsheet edit again, so stats, one for edit, and then in my list two, I can see I've got that second lot of data in there as well. Um, so again, I'm going to go back into my stat plot editor. So second, and then the y equals again to get into that. Um, and this time we're going to be dealing with our plot two. So I'm going to turn that one on. Um, again, I want to have a box and whisker as well, so I'm going to cruise along till I can find that one. Um, this time my X list isn't in list one because I'm looking at my female data, so that's in list two. So I'm going to press second and then number two to get to that. Um, everything else can stay the same. Um, we might do something else. We might do green instead of red, I think, just to change it up a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to graph that um, as well. Now, again, you can see we can't really see that um female box and whisker too well so again i'm going to use that zoom stat again so zoom number nine um, and there we go we get a really nice visualization of both of those sets of data um, if i wanted to find my five number summary for my women as well i can use that trace button um, it'll automatically go into the plot one but you can use your up and down navigation keys to go through to your next um, plot so you can use the down key and there we go, now we've got that green one highlighted. So my median, 11.1, um, first quartile, 10.73, minimum, 10.49. And then we can see those upper values as well. Alrighty, um, if I wanted to turn off those plots, again, one of the easiest ways to do that is to go back into my stat plot editor. So second, y equals, and then I can use number four, which is plots off, uh, press that press enter it'll bring it up in the main screen and we just um, execute that command so it comes through and says done and then when I go back into the graph there's no more stat plots on my screen Alrighty, well that's it for me for today and um, I hope you guys got something out of that again if you haven't watched some of the other videos in terms of entering data into lists please go back and check those out as well uh, and I'll see you next time mm -hmm.